drive today to Peterborough, Ontario, and we are at Nelson's Western Boots and Apparel. And we are here to get Julia some Western Boots and a cowboy hat for her birthday. Mine whipped yesterday and it whipped, so I can't use it. Yeah, her cowboy hat, the wire poked through and it's broken. So she needs a new cowboy hat. That just happened last night. She was devastated because she wears that thing everywhere. And that so- That thing also was getting uncomfortable because it was like, it was getting small. It was for weird. Her. Yeah. It was a weird hat. So we are gonna go head in here. We found this place online. We don't have a lot of Western places near where we live. So we took a drive and we're doing a bit of a tour today. And this is one of our stops. So Julia's found some that are that have pink stitching. Oh, one foot. One foot. It's a little too big. Well, you gotta get your size. Guys, I like those. These probably fit the best. I like the white. Yeah, they fit your leg pretty good too. All right, go for a little walk, see if they're comfy. Yeah. All right, so they were explaining when girls wear hats, they tend to put the back. Like this. If I wear hats like this, it's because my forehead gets hot. Yeah. So but they said it should actually sit down low. So and you can about fit two, two fingers, fingers above the eyebrow. Two fingers. So they fit it. This is the one she likes. This one, this one fits better with that in it. I like these. She's got her new area boots. Julia's got the whole gear going on now. She's got the boots, the hat, being the jumping test. If she jumps, the hat doesn't come off, she says. So Julia found her perfect hat and her perfect boots. She is already wearing them. We are just in the car. She's, she's switching into them right now. We just paid for them and she's got them on. She is one happy kid. So if you guys need any Western boots, hats, any Western apparel, they are definitely a store to check out if you are in the Peterborough area or within driving distance. They were so friendly in there, so nice. They spent so much time with us. They had a ton of selection. It was worth the drive to come out here and it was really, a great experience. All right, next on our stop, we are heading to a really cool place. When we were driving up here, we passed store. it. It's primitive designs, and they have all kinds of sculptures made out of metal, but they've got transformers and dinosaurs yeah. and everything. So we're gonna go stop there and show you guys. They are incredibly talented here, all made out of wood scraps, little cactuses for your western gear. It's incredible, all made out of metal scrap. They're building dinosaurs right now and painting them. So you can buy all of this stuff. So this is Bumblebee from Transformers and Optimus Prime. The most unique stuff I've ever seen. Benches. It is all made out of like a solid piece of wood. It's comfy. Oh, look, it's to look like it's coming out of the water. Scott's excited about the Transformers. Yeah, they're pretty cool.
A horse cane. Feel those are the shots. Horse sculptures. This is all done out of a solid piece of wood. I can't even imagine the time that this takes. done with all this metal scraps. Absolutely incredible. Solid wood. One, it's like carpet of one piece of wood. Like unique. I can honestly say I've never seen a place like this. If you are looking for something very unique, this is a place. They've got clothing, they have stuff for outside, they have stuff for inside. All original, very unique. It's so interesting. So Julia finds chickens. She's very excited about chickens. Hey, they kind of look like Hey Hey a Maui.